With the use of satellite imagery to observe the Earth, it has become evidently clear that forest cover is decreasing, particularly the large forest areas in the Southern Hemisphere. Deforestation and the unsustainable use of forest resources are not only accelerating climate change and destroying biodiversity, they are also a major cause of poverty. Forest resources are a key source of income for hundreds of millions of people worldwide, who also benefit from the protective functions of trees and forests. Forest landscapes are therefore vital in many respects, which is why bringing back trees to the landscape is so important. The solution, however, is far more complex than simply planting new trees. To succeed, all stakeholders need to come together to collectively develop a plan that can be agreed upon by all parties. Everybody needs to recognise and understand the benefits of bringing back trees into the landscape. For many people, fruits, nuts and mushrooms from the forest are a source of food and income. Farmers benefit when trees protect their fields and plantations. Livestock is more likely to thrive where there are trees to provide shelter. In addition to the above, bringing back trees into the landscape means more firewood, which can be harvested in a sustainable way. Forest landscapes regulate the regional water supply and provide everyone, limiting the damaging effects caused by climate change. To plan this well, the existing land must first be analysed. What was the region like before it was deforested? Where would it make most sense to grow trees and forests? Could we grow trees back from existing stumps, for example? Issues of land ownership and tenure must also be resolved. Of equal importance is knowledge sharing. How can I keep and feed my cattle without destroying the forest? How can I manage farmland and plantations in a more sustainable way? In addition, how can we settle disputed issues in a conclusive way? Bringing back trees into the landscape is therefore very complex. The Forest Landscape Restoration Method, FLR for short, is an approach that combines all of the factors described above. One successful case of FLR implementation in Niger was awarded the Alternative Nobel Prize in 2018. That really underscores the value of this approach. Germany is a strong supporter of FLR measures. We are aiming to help restore 100 million hectares of forest landscapes in sub-Saharan Africa by 2030 to give millions of people long-term prospects for the future.